Hey guys, this is Janitor uh, Fishing Team right here. This is going to be a janitor project. Of course, uh, we're trying to get Punk's boat. It's a river boat we have bought. It's a 12 foot aluminum boat. And uh, what we're trying to do is we're going to recoat the bottom with the bottom paint. And uh, I want to show you what we've done so far. Uh, we went ahead and we pressure washed it and got all the loose paint off of it. And then got it all where it's kind of nice where you can see the rivets because some of the rivets are leaking uh, through the boat so we're getting a little bit of water in the boat so uh, what we're gonna have to do is uh, put some fresh bottom paint on this thing because this is an older aluminum boat and as you see what I did was we went ahead and taped off where the water line is and uh, we'll paint from here towards the center okay and as you come down this way you'll see we've taped the hole all the way around the bottom and the sides right here and then we've got the back back here and we've taped it too which y'all eventually see that but uh basically we're trying to get where it's not going to sink or where it's not going to leak uh, because it is holding a little bit of water and uh it being an aluminum boat he you know he can't hardly do much with it when you got water coming in so okay so basically we're going to start that. We're coming back out here and what we'll do is I have bought some bottom paint and it's a two process paint is what it is. Uh, this stuff right here is supposed to be some pretty good stuff. I've never used it but uh, it's industrial. I talked to the guy where I bought it from, the epoxy coating uh, and it is supposed to be pretty bad to the bone. Uh, basically You've got two parts, it's a four to one ratio. This is the hardener. And uh, you take uh, one part of this and pour it into four parts of that. And uh, then you're supposed to mix it up, okay? So what I had done was, I went ahead and made these little measuring cups. Cause uh, that way, instead of pouring it in my bucket right here, my four to one, I can go ahead and pre-measure it and pour it in and uh, as I pour it all in I can go ahead and mix it up that way I can reuse these little measuring cups because he said the guy told me once you get this stuff it is just nasty stuff uh, if it gets on you you might as well cut the meat off because it don't want to come off that's how good it is so that's what we're looking for uh, so let's get started here uh, got me some water definitely want to stay hydrated because it is hot so I'm gonna go ahead and take this screwdriver and kind of pop it up and uh, get this thing opened up the main thing with this gallon paint is the mixing you definitely want to make sure that you mix it stir it up good because if you don't ah, there's a lot of stuff that settles on the on the bottom so we definitely want to make sure we get all that settlement. Uh, as you see, it's it's pretty gnarly. It looks like tar. So as you get the oh yeah, see I can feel all that stuff on the bottom. See all that tar looking stuff. So all that has to be mixed in to make sure you've got a good product. If you don't mix it in and you just go ahead and pour it out, what's going to happen is it's not going to be a a good product and you're not going to get what you uh, what you're really looking for that bottom paint to stick so you only get a piece of that so this right here you mix all that gunk up and it smells pretty gnarly but that's what it is you know you mix this up it's going to be a few minutes got to get this thing stirred up pretty good it's kind of like tar but he said it was it's pretty gnarly stuff get creamy at first it wasn't it was like a big clump at the bottom but now it's getting creamy and she's starting to work out pretty good right there okay so that's that's mixed pretty good what we're going to do now is we're going to open this hardener and see what it's what's it's all about see what's happening i don't know what color if it's clear if it's a different kind of color yeah it's clear that's definitely what it is it's definitely clear so that's a good thing. I don't think we probably need to mix it a whole lot. Nope. 
but it's kind of like look it's kind of like honey Yui. look at there so they don't really have a, a what you call it so this is definitely what's going to make that product that product gets hard let me get all this off there because this stuff was like uh, the hardener and the gallon uh, bottom paint epoxy paint was uh, I think it was about $85 I believe that's what I, I think that's what we paid for it about $85 so. alright guys alright we're back so I got everything mixed up and what I did was I went and bought some cheap brushes from the dollar store I mean they're not going to be no good when you get done with this you just throw them in the trash basically so we're going to go ahead and start with our 4 to 1 alright I've already got a pre-mark, hold it down a little bit some. And boy, it's like thick syrup. But you guys think it's gonna be like that. Okay, hold what we got here. Pour that in there. Kinda grab this and we'll just kind of yep, pour it in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to stick, we'll probably stick about four of these in there. That way we won't have to keep mixing it up, keep mixing it up. Let's see here, let me hold this for a minute here. So it's nasty, nasty stuff right there. Yes it is. Thick, he said it was some thick stuff. I guess that's why it works so good. Ooh, it's strong. Strong stuff, man. Down in there. He said you might want to throw it all away when you get done, so probably won't be able to use this whole bucket again. Alright, we're going to fill it back up again. Hang on. Alright, that's one. Alright, we're going to fill it back up to the red. Because you got to be careful. You don't want to get over than what you got. Alright. You're going to pour that down in there. This thing. This is some nasty stuff. Take that brush. Your measurements are, you know, on basically. What we're trying to do here is gooey. Definitely gooey, guys. Definitely gooey. Definitely gooey. All right. Let's try it again. That's two. So we do it two. Well, I figure we'd do four. Because I think we're going to have definitely plenty of room for four. He says it spreads pretty good too. Belly. Ooh. Well, we just do. Let's just do three. We'll do three. Cause this is pretty much up there. I'm sure we're gonna probably need more than this, but let's just do three for right now. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, all I did was I just got some old cups. And I, basically what I did was I filled them up the four with water and I measured them like that. That way, you know, you kind of know where you're at and then you pour the water in there and that way you got your measure marks when you fill them up with water. So it kind of worked out pretty good for me and then all I did was mark it. Okay, that's that. Set that to the side. Set that to the side now. This is our one, and this is our clear. This is our hardener. So, and what does this hardener do? With that? The hardener you mix. You mix this hardener with uh, with that product, and what it does, it that's what causes it to kick off. That's what causes the epoxy to to get hard, or the bottom paint to get hard. So. 
without this, it won't. It will not get hard. It won't apply right. It won't get hard. So you're kind of, you know, you got to have this. It's and it, you buy them together. You know, you buy this, and then he'll give you the uh, the hardener. It's basically like fiberglass. Basically, what it is. You got resin. Well, basically, that's kind of what this is. Here you go. That's one. This will be two. And we got one more after this. Oh, that's kind of so the little. Yeah, kind of lifted over. So the next one, do I won't do that much. We'll be. We'll cut it back a little bit. That. Uh, pretty nasty stuff. We got one more, and then we'll go to mix it. Already got gloves. Already got, yeah. That's why you got to get gloves on you. Get gloves. All right, hold on to that. And that fact, we'll move this over here out of the way. All right, guys, one more. One more on the hardener, and like I said, we're going to fill it up as much, but we put a little extra in there on that other one. Right about there. Alright. So, okay, we got that, got that. Yep. So what I'll do is uh, get all this product in there, get everything out of here, and then we'll mix it up. That way we can start painting. That's quite a bit of product, so we should be able to do all, just about the whole bottom. Of it is what I'm shooting for anyway. That's what I'm shooting for. All right. I don't usually. I'm just putting a touch more in there because I want to make sure she hardens good. Because you got, you got, and you got to wait for about four hours. Four to six hours before you can apply again. So definitely got to do that. You got to wait four to six hours. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put these covers back on. That way the covers are on. And then take this old screwdriver. Take that. All right, that's that. So, okay, we've got that. Got that. set this on to the side and then I'm gonna take this and then let's go ahead and start mixing get it all mixed get it up jeez make sure boy she smells Woo! Funky. I mean real funky. When I say funky, I mean funky. She's getting thin. I think we're just about ready to start applying. That looks pretty good. I think I got it mixed in pretty good. Yeah, man mixed in pretty good so okay I'm gonna take this and we're gonna go ahead and set it on the boat right here and what all I did was as you see I put a couple ladders with some two with some one by fours and that's got a trash can underneath just to kind of hold it up you want it uh you want it level where you ain't got to get down there and bend that way everything's at your waist high 
and right here at the top. So, yeah, she looks really good. She stand up. I think we're, I think we're ready to apply. Yeah, she looks real good, real good, okay. All right, I'm gonna get my brushes. And uh, like I say, I bought them from the dollar store. You can get them pretty much anywhere. It's just a dollar store brush. I bought that from Home Depot and them other ones from the dollar store. So basically what we'll do, clean this off right here. And uh, you definitely wanna put some old clothes on. Definitely wanna put some old clothes on. And then basically we're just going to start right here and just start working it. It applies pretty good. You see how thick it is? Yeah, she's going on really good. And I'm just kind of mashing it down into the cracks, you know what I'm saying? I mean, just kind of getting and starting in the middle, just get you a place and you start at and uh, you start painting on basically it's pretty simple you know what I mean to do this uh, this was my first time putting a bottom paint on any boat uh, we're gonna be doing the big janitor boat here this winter me and uh, punk we're gonna be painting that the bottom paint on that so you know it's always good to try and do stuff yourself if you could save a couple bucks it's all about saving money this day these days should I say so but uh yeah we're real happy we want to get this boat going for him so he can start working the creeks and uh, start fishing when we get done with this bottom paint uh, we're gonna start modifying the inside and I can't wait to show you all that because we're gonna put a couple boxes in there uh, nothing fancy just just a couple boxes and uh, just trying to get things set up for him, a dry box and uh, maybe a battery box because he wants to put a dip finder on this thing. So I think it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to come out really good when we get done with this boat. Alright guys, we, uh, as you see, we've got the uh, coat of bottom paint on there. Uh, she come out really good. We tried to do some time lapse on it. Uh, so hoping we can get that downloaded for you and that way you can see. Uh, I did three cups. So uh, three cups was enough to do the whole bottom and the little piece. I've got about seven inches coming down on that back side uh that's painted uh, so that was just enough to do this this is a, a 12 foot uh 12 foot john aluminum john boat uh looks like it's probably about you know five by 12 so uh 
as you see what we did we taped the perimeter off so everything looked good we had some some rivets right here that definitely was blowed through uh, so you can see her sucking it down in there when this dries what we'll do is uh, we'll take it and flip it over and then we'll go on the inside where they're they, they've got the uh, rivets inside we'll go ahead and coat them and then uh, we should be able to water test it so uh, but that's going to be a couple days hoping uh, we can get this done this bottom done today because it's got to sit about four hours four to six hours for it to dry and we'll kind of go from there so uh, we're looking for some good things to happen uh, just stay tuned I'm trying to make this thing happen for y'all that way uh, y'all have a little project like this you know what to do uh, definitely trying to get the little janitor uh, in the river so we can do some uh, some red fishing and uh, some drum all right buddy uh, we'll uh, we'll let y'all go for right now and then we'll be right back standing by